The Fortress and the Mine. Two amazing LEGO Minecraft sets. But which one comes out on top? So that's what we'll be doing right here, comparing the two and seeing which one's better. Ready? Let's go. So to start off, we'll just be doing a quick overview of the sets, starting off with the Mine. It's a really cool set and it's quite old as well. Being one of the first proper LEGO Minecraft sets of the theme, which is not counting the micro worlds, it had some pretty cool minifigures and it was really well designed. It was modular so you could actually take each part apart and then make it into different types of builds. It had super cool minifigures and it had iron armour which was quite new because it was a new armour for the theme so that was also really exciting. It also had that minecart track going down the side which I thought was awesome and looked really cool although it's not the most accurate as it is just a big plate going down diagonally. But other than that, it's quite an accurate set and looks really cool. I especially love how it has play features with the TNT and everything and how they've made the bridges, which also look amazing and really cool. And I like how they've done the layers, which go down deeper into the mine from the top, which is the overworld. And then you just go deeper and deeper into the mine, finding the rarer ores. So next we move on to the fortress, also an awesome set. I feel like the ice castle may have been inspired by the fortress because they do look pretty similar, although the fortress is a little bit bigger. And just the fortress itself has the banners, it's really well made, and just like the mine, it's a bit like it's modular, but it can't like come apart upwards, it comes apart sideways, so you can make it taller, or maybe sideways, you can make it longer. I think that's quite cool and adds a bit of creativity to it that LEGO Minecraft requires from quite a lot more now, but it's also just awesome how they added that, and the minifigures are really cool, although it could use some better minifigures, stuff like... You know, it just has skeletons, which could be improved because you could have other things like creepers or zombies and stuff in a set that's quite expensive at the time. I think you should be getting a bit of a bigger minifig selection, but I still think it's cool that we got the Golden Armoured Steve with the Spruce Armour Stand, which I think is awesome because we don't have much of those armour stands anyway, anywhere, because mostly it's in the training grounds, the Illager Raid and the Fortress which are a little bit more expensive than most LEGO Minecraft sets. And to start us off, I think we'll be going for minifigures. The winner of this one is quite hard because both of the minifigures are a tad bland because they're just some mobs and Steve, but I think that the winner of this one is probably the mine. Now, I'm not saying it has a rarer minifigures, but I'm saying it has more of a selection. The fortress has a baby sheep, a horse, Steve, and three skeletons. So it does actually have more minifigures than the mine. But the mine has more of a selection, being a spider, a skeleton, a zombie, a Steve, and a creeper. Which is kind of what you need for a mine, and I really think that they should have added more troops like that into the fortress. Because all we get are skeletons, and I really think they could have added more to that. Because zombies are actually more common than skeletons. So I think zombies would have been quite good in the fortress. And we do get zombies in the ice castle, which I think they should have added into the fortress. And that is why the fortress doesn't win the minifigure thing and the mine does. So that's 1-0 to the mine. And now we'll be going for piece count, which will go to the fortress. The fortress just has a little bit over the mine. The mine has around just over 900, whereas the fortress is edging on 1,000. It's quite a small difference so there's not much of a difference you're probably going to get around the same build length but the fortress does have that little bit of an advantage over the mine with a tad bit more piece count and now we're going to be going for accuracy and this one's quite difficult as neither of them are natural structures the mine is quite accurate to the caves although it does have those small things like the big ramp which isn't exactly accurate but the fortress also has its small inaccuracies and I think I'm just going to give this one to the fortress. I feel like as the mine was one of their first Lego Minecraft sets, it has a few more inaccuracies than the fortress does after quite a while. The mine does have that ramp, which isn't exactly accurate. And the fortress is more like something that the players would build in the game. And I think it's quite accurate how you can make it into different things. I think it's really close, but I think the fortress just comes out on top of that. So that's one all to both of them. And next up, we'll be going for displayability. These are both super cool sets and really displayable. The mine is really cool as it's older, so it can be quite a collector's material, and so can the fortress, but the mine is just a little bit older. But I really think that the fortress may win this one. 
just being a fortress makes it that little bit more displayable because fortresses are always cool. Having a castle set is one of the best Lego Minecraft sets and a Lego set altogether, castle sets are awesome. Like the new Knight's Castle that came out last year is awesome and I really wish I had it. And also I just think it works really well and I just love this fortress. So now we're going to go for overall looks. It's 2 1 to the fortress at the moment, so it could end up a tie or it could end up the fortress winning. They both look amazing and really cool. The mine is actually quite tall and quite big, and the fortress is too. It's just not as tall, it's more wide and thick. I think, though, that the winner of this one will be the fortress. Like I said before, just it being a fortress makes it a bit cooler. Fortresses have always been cool, and that's why I think overall looks will go to the fortress. And to conclude this all, the score is 3-1 to the Fortress. So the Fortress wins this one. I think the Fortress is an awesome set, but the mine is also. It was quite a close one, and they're both awesome sets, and I'd buy either one. I think they're both super cool sets. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. Another video down there. Really hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.